Maya Ketchy here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about signs of ectopic pregnancy and if you would like to hear more please do stick around as I tell you my experience. Let's get into it. The signs that I was having when I was having ectopic pregnancy was pain like weakness and dizziness. Those were the major uh, pains and symptoms that I was having. I was having pain on one side of my pelvis and you just hold it and you just keep squeezing your side and you can't even explain the pain. It's just, it's horrible. So I was having that pain even on my lower back. I was having pain on my lower back. I just, I can't even explain it. It's just like somebody's just punching you like this. It's just like this. Someone is punching and pressing down while they're punching. That's like the pain I had. And I was bleeding. Like I was bleeding like crazy abdominal bleeding i was bleeding and i couldn't even, i'm gonna tell you that this was probably the worst experience i've experienced in my life it really is a topic pregnancy is no joke and if you were pregnant and experiencing any pain please check yourself go immediately to the doctor so that it would not happen to you i do not even hope, wish this on the worst person and um I fainted a lot. I fainted. I couldn't explain it. I thought it was like, oh, because I'm weak or something. Because I don't like pain. So I figured, oh, the reason I'm having a topic pregnancy was because uh, the pain that was, and the reason I was fainting, because I just don't like pain. But I grew to understand that it was an atopic pregnancy and I have reasons for the way I was behaving. Don't let anyone tell you that you were weak. Don't let anyone tell you, oh, why can't you do this? Other people are doing it. Go get checked up. Go get help if you need it. And this, the back pain was very painful. Everything was honestly hurting me. It was hard to sleep. I wasn't sleeping well. That's my babies talking, one of them. Another thing was I was cramping a lot. It's like when you have a, uh, like like your, mens your menstrual cycle, you cramp a lot. And honestly, tell you all the truth, if you have any of these signs, and even more, your shoulder can be hurting you. I believe my, sh my left or my right shoulder was hurting me when I had this atopic pregnancy experience. If you feel like this is what's going on with you, please go check, get it, get it checked up. The reason why I'm making this video because I know a lot of people who didn't have the knowledge like I, like I, when I didn't have it. So I'm only honestly making this video just to let you know the signs and symptoms that you need to check for atopic pregnancy. And um, I hope and pray that none of you have or will experience this this journey and the pain that I experienced. But I feel like every pain that we go through is just to make it stronger for the next journey. After that, I had a miscarriage. And then after that, I started having my children. With Even if this happened to you, I, I'm sorry about it and I'm praying with you. I pray that God will lead you and will give you and bless you with the next child that you are going to have. Have faith and do not lose hope. If you're feeling, if, if you have any signs on any of these symptoms, please rush to your hospital, to the doctor, and get checked up. I love you all. Bye.